Hey guys, this is Joe Wilson bringing you the Toolbag 208 feature update video. First up is something that a lot of people have asked for, automatic mesh reloading. I'm really excited about this feature. I've been using it to get a preview of my model as I work on it. Every time I make a change to my mesh, I can simply re-export my file and then switch over to Toolbag to see it update. Material assignments are preserved, so you don't need to reapply them when the mesh reloads. When you load your model, you'll notice a file reference object is created. This allows you to not only reload meshes, but replace meshes as well, which is really great if you've transformed your mesh in any way. We've improved the FBX loader. Now you can import cameras and lights from your 3D modeling package. Import options can be toggled on a per file basis with the new reference object. Up next is Fog, another frequently requested feature. Fog can be added by going to Scene, New Fog. This will give you a fog object with all sorts of parameters to tweak like falloff, distance, opacity, and ambient and direct light influence. Fog is a simple and easy way to add atmospheric effects to your scene. Fog helps to add a sense of scale and depth to larger environments as well. Up next is camera limits, which allow you to set zoom, pan, and rotational bounds to restrict camera movement in Marmoset Viewer. Restraints can be set up in the Limit section of the Camera Object Properties. Click the drop-down to select the Pan Locking Type. Once you enable the Near and Far Zoom Limits, you'll notice a handy guide to help you visualize the boundaries. You can set the Near or Far Planes to your current camera position as well. Prevent people from looking at the underbelly of your mesh by turning on the X Access Constraints. Click and drag the handles to set your desired angle. And then rotate the camera to preview the result. Enable the Y axis limits to restrict horizontal rotation. The left and right handles can be adjusted individually to fine tune the bounds. The center handle can be used to adjust the yaw offset. Hold down control and drag the handles to adjust the bounds symmetrically and drag the center handle to offset the X axis bounds. Export a Marmoset viewer file to see the final results. That does it for the headline features in 208. We've also added a lossless normal map option and ambient inclusion map support to viewer. We've updated the TIFF loader to better support 16 and 32-bit files, as well as various compression formats. As always, check our website for the full changelog and more information about Marmoset tools.